all the people in Ukraine are watching and waiting for this decision. For them it's very, very important to raise their morale, to continue fight against the Russian uh, army. The Ukrainian flag unfurled in Brussels, where European Union leaders agreed Thursday to formally approve Ukraine's candidacy status. It's a historic move that brings the country that's now under Russian invasion one step closer to becoming an official member of the bloc. This is a very defining moment and a very good day for Europe today. Um, I warmly congratulate President Zelensky. Ukraine's deepening ties to the EU, a blow to Russian President Vladimir Putin, who is railed against growing Western influence in Eastern Europe. Let me stress that I'm deeply convinced that our decision that we have taken today strengthens us all. It strengthens Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia in the face of Russian aggression. Ukraine applied to join the EU just days after Russia's invasion began in February. Thursday's update is mostly symbolic, but it could boost morale in the war-torn nation. And it could still take years until the membership is final. And there's a chance it won't be approved in the end. But more support for Ukrainian defenses are expected to come soon at upcoming NATO and G7 summits. Just as Russian forces are putting the pocket near Severodonetsk in eastern Ukraine under increasing pressure, according to UK intelligence. That says some Ukrainian units have withdrawn, probably to avoid being encircled. Ukraine's president pleading once again for more Western weapons claiming Russia's goal is to destroy his country's entire Donbass region. Melissa Duggan, City News.